Welcome back to the Kiwi Supali YouTube channel. I hope you have learned something from my previous videos. I wish to continue with this video to discuss the pricing information of bill of quantities preliminaries. One if site holding, one G contractor and engineer site facility, one each project signboard, one I health, safety and environment with SC, one G access road, one F site holding, holding a strong and self-supporting design to secure the perimeter of the site. The holding costs vary depending on the type of material made from MDF board, plywood board or metal sheet. The most used material is the plywood board. Now let's estimate the preliminary cost of site hoarding involved in the project. The calculation is for general estimation purposes only. This must not be used to guarantee an equal end figure of the hoarding cost. Example, assume the site is level and the height of the hoarding is constant throughout. The cost of the overall length of the hoarding is estimated based on the cost of 1 linear meter of the length multiplied by the overall length of the hoarding. A sketch diagram is uploaded and attached in the description box for your reference. Estimate for 2.4 meter long by 2.4 meter high hoarding length. Excavation for pit foundation 400 mm by 400 mm depth not exceeding 1 meter. For working place add 600 mm on all sides of the footing edge equals 2 into 1.6 into 1.6 into 1 equals 5.12 into rate per 1 meter cube for excavation. Form work equals 2 into 0.4 plus 0.4 into 2 into 1 equals 3.2 meter squares into rate per meter square for form work. Rate to include for fixing and removal. Mass concrete grade SRC 30 Newton for the footing equals 2 into 0.4 into 0.4 into 1 minus 2 into 0.225 into 0.075 equals 0.32 minus 0.034 equals 0.286 meter square into rate per meter cube for concrete SRC 20 Newton. Apply one primer coat and two coats of liquid bituminous waterproofing on the vertical side of the footing exposed to the earth equals 2 into 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04 into 2 into 1 equals 3.20 meter squares into rate per meter square for bituminous waterproofing. Backfilling with the plus excavation equals 5.12 meter cube minus 0.3 2 meter cube equals 4.8 meter cube into rate per meter cube for backfilling. Cut away surplus excavated material equals 5.12 meter cube minus 4.80 meter cube equals 0.32 meter cube into rate for cut away to the distance of dumping area. Hardwood treated timber post 225 into 75 millimeter equals 2 into 3.5 4 meter equals 6.8 meter into rate per 1 meter length of hardwood treated timber. Hardwood treated timber rail 100 into 75 mm equals 4 into 2.475 meter equals 9.9 meter into rate per 1 meter length of hardwood treated timber. 18 millimeter marine plywood board 1.2 meter into 2.4 meter equals 2 number into rate per 1 sheet of marine plywood board. 5 millimeter diameter screws 100 mm long 
to fix the rail to post, you could eight number into rail per one number screw. Four mm dia goes 50 mm long at 300 mm center to center equals 34 number into rail per one number screw. Allow for painting or any logo as required by the client. Therefore, the total cost of the coding equals A divided by B and multiplied by C. A divided by B multiplied by C, where A is cost of hoarding length, B length of hoarding, C is total length of hoarding. Food, meals, shelter, toilet, washing, drinking water, health, safety, and welfare of persons working on the site. Now, Let's evaluate the preliminary cost involved in the project. The temporary buildings shall be of custom size, prefabricated building. Site facilities depend on the project size and the duration. The facilities are minimum requirements but not limited to the following. Engineer facility. The engineer's office includes a board meeting room, engineer's office room, drawing room, stationary room, secretary room, driver room, pantry, toilet, washroom, and covered parking place. Manpower include a secretary and an office boy. Material include stationary PC, mobile, land phone with international dialing facility and photocopier machine. Depend on the project activity, progress, and duration. The primary purpose of providing the required facility is to avoid delays caused by waste storage. Security. Security includes guard rooms with toilet and washing facility. Manpower includes security personnel. Material includes light, torch and floodlight. Power, water and drainage. Power, water and drainage include generator room, water tank, toilets, washrooms and septic tanks. Thank you. Please wait for my next video for the continuation of the discussion on the bill of quantities, pricing information on preliminaries. I am pleased if you are motivated by the desire to explore the value of the fields necessary that would contribute to the construction industry. Please refer to the description box below for the written description of this video clip. With a positive attitude and a growth mindset, keep moving forward and explore the field. I will see you in the next video. You are inspired and learned something from this video please click like subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell button to receive my upcoming videos and share with others too